Look what I happened upon right by the bird feeder set up. I almost missed it because I was watching the squirrels scurry away. You can really see the beautiful bands in the northern water state when it's stretched out like that. That is a big frog it's got too. It's not a very big snake. I'd say maybe 20 inches long tops. Man, that is going to be a meal. I mean, look how small the snake's head really is. If you look from the part where, it, like, the jaw opens and how small the eye is, I mean, its head is actually flattened out across the back of the frog like a pancake. That is insane. I have no clue why the snake would be out here too in the middle of the lawn practically. I mean I see them around here all the time but they, they're hidden somewhere. I don't know if maybe it was in that log over there and kind of came out and got the frog or what. But it's just crazy for it to end up right here. You got birds that are eating right there on that platform. Squirrels all running around over there. That frog's foot is still twitching, man. Look at that. That is so crazy. If he sits there for a little while, I'm going to have to sit this down and take some pictures while I still can. God, that is insane. He's kind of like hiding under this part of the, it's like a, back by the deer's hips, I guess. That's where that bone's from. That was from one that I, I found just about a complete deer skeleton in the creek with nothing left but like some dried up skin on it. I don't like being watched. And usually I wouldn't be so close, but I've just never really seen a catch like this. It looks like he's not even past that front foot yet. 
Hopefully he's going to be able to get it all down. That is a really big male for that small snake. 